Hi folks, I'm Bobby Rose. Uh, Roger calls me the grand granddaddy of the band. Hey, come on, come on over here, Roger. I see you. Yeah. This is Roger Casey. Oh, there he goes. He's shy. I'm shyer than he is. But um, yeah, so here we are, 30 years. Actually, we've been together 30 years. Uh, August was 30 years. We had our first. Our first gig here at Skipper's, August 1985. And now we're back again. Listen to that. Here's Roger Casey. Here's okay. Got audio. All right, so here we are at Skipper's, 30 years later. And, uh, and we were worried if it was going to rain. And we've raised families, had jobs. Some of us have retired. Dan, Dan Some of us retired. can't retire yet. Right. Too bad we don't. Hey, too bad we didn't have the 401 k with the Dukes of Juke, or uh, we'd probably be retired. No, retired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'd be living in so, the island somewhere. Thank God for social security. Because, right. um, but no, Bobby, it's been a pleasure playing with him for 30 years. Same here, man. Same here. Ups so, and downs, some crazy yeah, gigs, some great gigs. So, Bobby, how did the uh, band get started? The band got started. Um, I lived, I lived in Israel for 10 years. From 1973 to 1980. And over there, I started a band. It was really awesome. And anyway, so when I moved back here, I had, to, I had to get a band together. That's, that's one of the reasons I knew I wanted to come back here. And um, so, oh, okay. I don't know if I can speak that. Hello. So I um, found one of those uh, music newspapers, and uh, I looked through it, and I found a couple different people, and called them up, and called them off, and nothing happened. There were all kinds of crazy people that came out to, 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 to interview and stuff. And then one time I got in touch with Roger Casey on the phone. And we had a really good talk. And, uh, and that was kind of like the beginning of it. Yeah. So I was looking for a paying gig. Yeah. But, um, you know. <laughs> he knew better. <laughs> I enjoyed my conversation with Bobby so much because we talked about the Allman Brothers and um, some old jazz blues guys. Don't know. And uh, most of the people I was calling looking for a gig were just. Wanting to do David Bowie and um, or the hair bands, wasn't or the, the hair, hair bands. bands, yeah. Like they wanted to do Le Def Leppard, which is all great stuff, but not where my roots were. So when I ended up talking to Bobby, we talked about all this great R and B and blues, mm -hmm. and um, I remember exactly where I was sitting. I was sitting on the back porch of that house where um, on Deckel Street. Yeah, Deckel Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we got together and uh, started putting the band together. And uh, we actually, because we were doing R&B and staying kind of close to those roots, we didn't always get the jobs that other bands were getting. But uh, we stuck with it. But, but at one point, it was really, I think we did really well. We had, um, we were we were gigging every weekend. Yeah. Sometimes three, four nights a week. Yeah. So we were Kyle bought a boat off of him. Kyle bought I don't know how he did that because I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't able to buy a boat. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but Kyle said he bought a boat yeah. off our gigs. Yeah. So. Any funny stories along the way? Uh, there's plenty. Some we don't want to mention because it may um, embarrass a certain celebrity or two. But I guess the funny stories are uh, the R&B band, the Dukes of Juke playing at the Polo Club. Which was pretty uh, inappropriate, I think. Yeah, right. And uh, the racetrack when we had to play in between when the horses were running. Um, and uh, there was a club where there was a, um, um, a drum stage that was about 20 oh, feet uh, high. And uh, the band was here, and the drum riser was about 20 feet up. So there's, yeah, there's been uh, lots of funny kind of stories, but actually some really good gigs too, opening up some, for some great performers and a pleasure to meet them, right. as well as um, um, playing some great clubs, and Skippers is one of them. Skippers is an institution. The boxing club? Yep. Uh, uh, ringside. Ringside, I, ringside, ringside. Yep. So it's been a nice, a nice 30 years. Yeah, we've done some really nice... Uh, I'm Dan Hill. 
I've been in the Dukes, I think, 28 years. I think it is. Uh, well, I forget the story now. The story was this. Can I tell the story? Well, just give me a hand. About your brother, about us. We were a four-piece band. For oh, a while, oh yeah, right? you tell it, yeah. Okay. We were, you know, Roger Casey, guitar, uh, bass player, Nick Nickerson, drums, was a person called Jeff Hill, who's going to be sitting in a little bit today. Um, and who did I say? And myself. So we were this four-piece. Okay. And at the end of every gig, we'd say, gosh, it would really be great if we had a keyboard player. And after about a year of saying this, our drummer, Jeff Hill, said, well, you know, my brother Dan plays, plays keys. I said, well, how come you never said anything before this time? He said, well, I don't know. Well, yeah. actually, I'd never played in a band. Is it? Well, anyway, you know, so I, you know, joined the band basically part-time at first. I didn't play on every song. It took a little while to learn them, but I don't know, within a couple of gigs, I, I was playing right along. The rest is history. So what is this 30 years going to mean to you? Wow. Well, I think, it, first of all, it's incredible and unbelievable that that we made it to 30 years. You know? Yeah. I mean, we just, we look at each other and say, wow. I don't know, That's I saw a thing today about Aerosmith. They've been together for oh, right. years. <laughs> they broke up for a while. Yeah, though. yeah, right. So, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a great, great all right, looking experience. forward to the concert. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, 30 years with the Dukes of Duke. Oh my God. It's hard to believe Roger and I. You are? I am Kyle Campan. I'm the drummer of the Dukes of Duke. It's hard to believe 30 years. Roger and I actually were phone friends before we even met. And then I sat in with his band, the Dukes of Duke. And uh, they called me the next day, and here I am, 30 years later. Hard to believe. Time goes by. Enjoy your life. All you guys. Uh went all the 30 years or was there somebody that I left for a year, few years I left about eight seven or eight years and I came back and uh, actually I hadn't played the drums in that period of time and when I started playing again it was very difficult to get it back up and it, came, it came around so I'm glad I did it yeah we're still here any uh, stories you want to share over that 30 years that you can repeat <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, they're all that good. They're all that good. But okay. I'm very thankful. We're very blessed. Okay. Thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for being here. All right. Thanks. Hey, I'm Pat Peterson, the bass player of the Dukes of Juke. I'm uh, probably the newest member of the band. I've been with them seven years. And the thing about playing with the Dukes is they're just a bunch of fun. It's always something new and, and different. It's always got a new boogie going down. and It's been a pleasure. I hope we get to play a lot more years. And, together I see what no reason why not so uh, that's probably it for me okay any good stories you want to share not really good ones that we can share on yeah no, <laughs> nobody's got one you can share in video <laughs> but you you ask good questions <laughs> all right you're trying to put together I can't wait to see it look at things that you didn't think you said <laughs> thank you all right hi my name is Peg I managed the Dukes of Juke way back in the 80s, way, way back in the 80s. And the truth is, I got them their first gig right here at Skipper's where they're having their 30th anniversary. Love you, Dukes of Juke! I am. Is this loud enough? Yep. But I, I can't be as uh, harmonious as Freight Train Annie, but loved it tonight and hope to see you guys again and you'll bring any other fantastic female into the group. I'll love that too. Alrighty, good night and 30 years of rock and roll! Well boys, you did a great job. We, we came to see you many, many times. And girls! And, oh, great training! Well, we, when I say we... We love um, you. Leah? Jillian? Jillian? Oh, he left for a beer. Anyway, um, we wish you much luck and success, and thank you for the entertainment you provided us. Sir, and sir, right over here. You're not done talking. <laughs> Excuse me, they want to say something, but anyway, best of luck. Thank you for everything you provided. Okay, we're over here now. Over here, hey. Rock. Awesome show. Very nice. Keep on rocking. <laughs>
Another 30 years. Okay, we love you. We thought you were fabulous. We had a great time. Congratulations on your 30th anniversary. And carry on for the next 30 years. Wonderful band. Great music. Great singing and dancing. Happy anniversary. Hey, a jerk! 30 years! Let's do 30 more! It's amazing. amazing. We're having a good time.